At Deerfield, we believe in a broad, balanced education. But today, our students are more advanced, technology is more complex, and the pace of change quicker than ever. To meet these 21st century challenges, we are redesigning our curriculum to emphasize 21st century skills. When you have collaboration as a new mode of teaching, when you have technologically aided instruction as a new mode, anytime we do a new mode of instruction, it causes us to ask some self-examining, self-reflective questions, and that has to be good for Deerfield. The Global H2O course really takes that collaborative energy to a new level. There are four of us, two science teachers and two teachers in the history department. It's not a science course or history course or even just trying to be interdisciplinary. It's having kids learn the skills that transcend discipline that they need to solve the problems that exist in the world today. Faculty members collaborating to provide challenges to help students develop skills, but not necessarily providing facts and dispensing information. My favorite assignment that we've had this year was I was assigned the cholera outbreak in Haiti. You had to pitch your idea, your solution to that problem. When you're in the real world, you're not going to be faced with a problem that's strictly a math problem or a science problem. There will always be outside factors and influences. We have a few courses that are very problem-based, that are project-based. That curriculum is a little bit more student-owned. It's experiential. It's hands-on. I requested of them to deliver me one hour of light using a non grid electricity-based protocol. It sounds like a real science-y, nerdy, electronic-type project, but really it's just an exercise in clear thinking. I think Dr. Hills presents a sort of method that is really helpful in a lot of situations, inside the classroom, outside the classroom, in the real world, solving problems. I think the iPads definitely help you bring the world into the classroom. You have access to, to pull up research if you're trying to make an argument and you need to look something up. I mean, you have it right in front of you. We have been creating books on the iPads. So Madame will teach the subject to us and then we'll have to give a presentation on it. You can hear yourself speak in French so you can hear what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. They have to persist and find ways. And that's the critical part of it. Over the summer, I spent six to eight weeks just building energy projects. I had to pretend like I was a student. The creativity that goes into developing a course can be enhanced only if you have some time to step back from what you're normally doing. When we take time from the busy world that we have and step back, develop new courses, solve problems, share with each other dilemmas and look at the recent scholarship that's out, that provides us an opportunity to give the kids the highest quality education that we possibly can. The next stage is gonna be for people to say, oh, why don't we have a science teacher who's working with an art teacher and develop an interdisciplinary class. You can imagine groups of faculty sitting together and collaborating around technology and thinking of new types of pedagogy and ways to teach. The question that we have to ask is, what is best for the students? If it turns out that it's best for the students to have vibrant teachers who are learning themselves, who would say the kids aren't worth it? We are redesigning, preparing our students to succeed in the 21st century. In this work, we ensure that Deerfield's lessons remain relevant and that Deerfield continues to stand apart as a leader among schools.